19 Summit League Basketball Championships are now just six days away. As we look ahead to one of Kell Land's most thrilling and talked about annual events, in tonight's Eye on Kell Land, we take a closer look at the preparations needed to make the tournament happen. Come Saturday, center court at the Denny Sanford Premier Center will take center stage. We're really looking forward to it. It is, it is in a sense, the Sioux Falls Super Bowl. Just as it's the players and the teams who give March its madness, these teams at the Sioux Falls Sports Authority, the Summit League, and the Denny Sanford Premier Center make the Summit League Basketball Championships a reality. It takes lots of people <laughs> and it takes lots of time and support. Communication. Uh, so much communication. So that's with the Premier Center, that's with the Summit League themselves, that's with our volunteers. Uh, it takes about 150 volunteers and ball kids to put this on. It's a partnership uh, between the league and the Sports Authority. Um, and um, they have a lot of volunteers themselves that work the event. And uh, so we fit them in in key positions with our staff. And, um, you know, it's our fifth event here in this building now. And, uh, and it just works like clockwork. Logistics are no small matter. It's going to be long days. It's going to be a lot of fun. And there's credential packets we have to put together and coaches packets and all those kind of things and train the ball kids and order the awards and order the merchandise. It's everything from volunteers uh, to sponsorship procurement to hospitality meals and making sure all the VIP rooms are, are catered the way they need to be catered uh, and, and finding team towels and, and bikes that need um, you know, to be brought over, warm-up bikes, um, practice sites, facilitating those. On Wednesday night, the Denny Stanford Premier Center won't be ready for basketball because it'll be hosting a KISS concert. Uh, after the concert on Wednesday night, um, we'll immediately go into uh, turnaround mode uh, for the basketball tournament. Um, we'll get the floor laid down and the hoops out and the chairs and um, all the dressing rooms will be ready to go. Um, uh, get the building cleaned uh, after that concert so that uh, the teams can uh, get in and uh, start practicing. Plans here depend on who exactly is playing. You know, as far as the day-to-day -day staffing, um, it, it is based in, in large part on the matchups. Obviously, when uh, the South Dakota schools are playing or when uh, schools closer to this area are playing, we have larger crowds. And so, um, you know, we just follow the, the schedule accordingly and uh, we staff up when we know it's going to be South Dakota teams. A lot of what the teams do is just perform. Um, they're just working their way to make the tournament. A lot of the prep work that we do with the teams comes in the off season. Um, we work with our student athlete advisory committees um, where they kind of give us feedback from all our events, not just basketball. All you have to do is look out at the stands to see that the Summit League Basketball Championships mean a lot to this town. Look on the court and you'll see the same is true for the players. We're lucky to be in the Sioux Falls community where we have a great volunteer base and people that are willing to come out and support us in putting on a great experience for our student athletes. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Sintel. And make sure you follow all the action on our special Summit League page at kelloland.com.